My name is Jeremiah Hebding. My name is Siti Harija Binti. My name is Mike Liam. My name is Amy Kathleen. I'm the Director of Program Management for AIM Photonics. And I'm a Senior Engineer for Derivatives and Photonics Development. I am an AIM Derivatives Engineer. And I'm uh, the EVP at SUNY Poly, but I'm also the CEO of AIM Photonics. What is great about Infotonics is that it's a collaboration of the brightest that allows people to do information sharing and drives the silicon photonics to pave ways to volume manufacturing. So what we're building with Infotonics is we're building the chips that run on photons or light rather than electrons or electricity and this helps the chips be faster, hold more data and run on lower power. My role here is uh, when we receive design from the customer, we first uh, do a design review check. After that, we support the manufacturing of the wafer. So the wafers are our raw substrates, and you build multiple, you know, 65 to hundreds of devices at one time. Once that large wafer is complete, it will be shipped to a packaging facility, and then that will be further processed and then cut into smaller chips, and then those individual chips will be put into computers or cell phones or other electronic devices that would be using those. The most near-term application for photonics has to do with data centers. Server needs for companies such as Amazon, Google, Facebook. They have huge server farms that take up tons of physical land, tons of energy. So what our Datacom program is seeking to do is to create these chips so that we can reduce this footprint in America and the world. What we can build is sensor elements that are based on LiDAR, so the light equivalent of radar, that have much better accuracy in terms of distance determination, uh, as well as through the Doppler effect, they can tell which way something is coming. Is it coming at you? At what speed is it coming at you? Uh, and that allows you to have a sufficient level of sensorization around the car that eventually it will contribute significantly to self-driving cars. Technology like this, it's revolutionary. Everybody has a cell phone, everybody has a computer, but nobody knows what the next big thing is going to be and photonics could be that enabler that would enable life-changing things, whether it's in medical, whether it's in sensing, whether it's in computing. The next thing that would change people's day-to-day -day lives or enable things that we might not even be able to imagine at this point. What I'm, I love about my job is um, it's a new technology that is not in the market yet, so lots of the work that I'm involved is um, supporting the research and then I, I see that as a future also because like for America to become again a technology leader, this is the next it. But it is really great to see all of this activity happening across the United States. We get the best and the brightest from our country contributing to this program. And when I made my transition here to SUNY Poly and working in the AIM Photonics Institute, I was able to really work with a vast array of different people, not necessarily focused on a boardroom's bottom line, but more on the innovation and uh, the development of new technologies. For me, it's a really self-satisfying job. I mean, I don't have to have my boss to pat on the back because the work itself gives me the satisfaction. AIM Photonics is it's a great opportunity to stand up a once-in-a-lifetime institute. I'm proud to be able to be a part of it. 